Hello everybody, in today's episode I will show you how to change the brake pads on your Volkswagen Passat by 5.5 for motion. This method is working for almost any car out there. Today I'm going to change the rear brake pads on this car and in order to complete this job you need a few things like I have right here. First you will need a tool like this to push the piston back onto its place. from the brake disc. This is the first one and this is the second one. In order to remove it you will need a 13mm key and also a 15mm key to hold the screw from not turning. Here is my 13mm key which I will use in order to remove the first screw from the caliper and after that the second one. In my case I didn't need the second key, the second 15mm key because it seems like the screws was not stuck onto the caliper. Here is the second screw. Now what we have to do is to lift the caliper up. If yours is stuck, you can use a screwdriver to push from behind. Okay, so those are my brake pads. And for and for sure they have been seeing better days. This one is destroyed, it's almost to the metal part. And this one it seems to be in a very good condition. After that you have to check if those two little metal parts are well lubricated. If not, you have to lubricate them. As you can see, in my case, those are very well good lubricated and I'm going to put them back. Those parts are helping the caliper to move back and forth when replacing the brake pedal and if those are stuck, the brake will not work properly. So this one is in a very good condition. I'm going to put it back and as you can see, it's coming very easy back and forward. This is how you also have to make it go. And the second one is also very well lubricated. So now I'm going to put it back onto the caliper mounting bracket. After that what you have to do is to clean this caliper mounting bracket. In order to do this I'm using my machine, I'm using this wire brush to clean it very good and after that you will also have to clean the caliper and push the piston back onto its place. Now, in order to push the caliper back onto its place, you will need this key and the key that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. You will need the size number 7. In order to make this work, you have to put your press inside the caliper and after that you have to tighten it a little with your 22mm key and also you have to tighten it while you're turning the piston sometimes. Just make sure you don't break the rubber around the piston.
after you're done with everything and you put the wheel back onto the car release the jack stand and one more thing you have to do is to press the brake pedal a few times in order to push the caliper and in order to make a proper brake job thank you for watching if you like this video and found it informative please leave a like and a comment down below see you next time